I'm Amanda Patterson, and I'm a physiotherapist here at Zone Sports Physiotherapy. What I do at Zone Sports Physio is I'm a physiotherapist to help people achieve their goals and needs, uh, especially regarding sport performance, post-operative recovery, and musculoskeletal injury. So whether that's being able to walk after a surgery, or being able to clear their lungs after having a diagnosis of cystic fibrosis, or staying active and mobile and independent as a senior, like they all try to keep people active and moving. So generally the physiotherapy treatment plan revolves around getting them back to a functional status. So sometimes people are here a couple times a week to once a week to hopefully being here less often. There are some clients that I see every couple months just for exercise progressions and the odd symptom management. They are usually given exercises to work with at home to help kind of bridge the gap between the pain that they have while they're here and getting them back to where they want to be. So they end up leaving with a fair bit of homework after seeing me. I got into physiotherapy because I got injured a lot as an athlete in high school. So then I ended up going to see a physiotherapist a fair bit. So then just from seeing what they had to offer and what they did as a job, that's kind of what dri drove my passion. I like that you could provide exercise prescriptions, you could do some diagnosis and treatment, and you end up just spending a fair bit of time with people. So there's just a lot of factors that appealed to me. So I went to the University of Saskatchewan for a four-year undergrad in kinesiology. And then from there, I did a two and a half year professional master's program in physiotherapy. Um, the physiotherapy program's quite intense. They squish it in so you don't get too much of a summer, but it's really great. Like everyone is, it's a close knit community. They think there's only 30 or 40 people in your class. So you develop good friendships with everyone there and good friendships with all the professors. It's just a very nice program to go through. Uh, from my undergrad, degree in kinesiology, you can definitely pursue that into a professional degree as well. Uh, you can also just use it as an independent degree and become a kinesiologist or a certified exercise physiologist or go down the research path with a kinesiology degree. So I have a client who started seeing me probably about five years ago due to a plethora of different injuries from shoulders to elbows to hands, just kind of entire upper body was injured. Along with that, he had a lot of comorbidities like high blood pressure, some cardiovascular concerns and some metabolic issues with his weight. Uh, from our programming, he was able to resolve the majority of his musculoskeletal based injuries and then take that and build on it into some lifestyle changes that got him off of blood pressure medications, had him down to a healthy weight again and started to really integrate exercise into his lifestyle as well as just basic healthy choices. So he took kind of what we're building upon here from a rehabilitation sense and developed it into something that he can extend upon into his regular life to the point where he just has a little bit more independence, a little bit more body awareness and just better lifestyle changes overall. So my typical day usually involves, uh, I work 10 hour days, so about 10 to 20 different people come in to see me throughout a day. They come in, we chat, we review their exercises, we see how their pain's progressing, and we either prescribe new exercises, we do a bit of hands-on treatment, uh, and then hopefully they leave feeling better than how they came in. And then from besides that, there's usually some phone calls, emails, charting, that kind of thing to work on. Physiotherapy is very much a growing industry, especially in the private practice world, but it seems like more people every year are either applying to the university program or wanting to become involved with it, just because I think people take, um, they really appreciate staying active and independent in their life, so people are demanding it more. I think people who are a good fit for physiotherapists are people who like talking to other people, people who are generally caring and understanding in that sense. Um, you're dealing with people who are usually in pain or in a bad spot in their life, so you want to be able to develop rapport and communication with them so that they see a little bit of the light at the end of the tunnel for their injuries. I, I think that having a little bit of an ongoing want to educate yourself is important as well. Being able to stay up to date with current literature and different sort of changes in the trends for the industry is really important.